Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of operations with integers. This is standard 6.3D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 26 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got Nathan throwing some beanbags, and he gets a 2, a negative 4, a negative 1, and a 1. We need to find the total number of points scored, and we have a tricky answer there, D, none of these. So we don't want to just automatically choose that, but that is a possibility. All right, so there's a few different ways we can visualize this, right? So we need to add all of these scores. So when we see total, right, we should be thinking addition. Well, how do you add when you've got negatives? Well, you could still do it. It just might look a little bit weird. So throw 1 is 2 points, plus throw 2 is negative 4. So plus negative 4 looks a little bit weird. So typically we'll put some parentheses around it to separate the two signs. And then we're going to add another negative 1, so that's going to look weird. And then we've got, you know, a positive one. So that's going to equal my total. That's the expression I need to simplify. So we've got a few different options. One way is to make it look a little bit uh, a little bit different, right? So we've got 2 uh, plus negative 4. When you see a plus and a minus together, the opposite is just going to end up being a minus. So I can rewrite it, say 2 minus 4. And then and I get another plus minus right there. So this can be a minus 1 and then plus 1, okay? So looking at this now, uh, I can use the commutative property of addition, right? I can add these, even though, because these, when I'm subtracting 4, I'm really just adding a negative in any order I want to. And I'm seeing this right here. This would be a good way to kind of simplify. Minus 1 plus 1. Well, those two are going to cancel each other out. So that makes 0. So really what I'm looking at is just 2 minus 4. So 2 minus 4. Well, since the 4 is bigger, it's going to end up being negative, and it's 2 away. So I'm thinking it's going to be negative 2. If that's the case, I'm thinking it's going to be this. But since this is such an important question, I think we need to view it a different way. So let's view it with a number line, because I don't want to just go to say, oh, it's D. All right? Let's start with 0. All right? So when I score two points, okay, I'm going to move to the right. Okay, so I'm just going to take jumps. One, two. Right, so there's my one, there's my two. All right, so that's where I am at the end of the first row. Now I need to go to the left four. I subtract four, right? So I'll switch colors here. So let's make this blue. So now I'm going to go, and I'll do it up top here. One, two. 3, let's make that a negative 1, right, and then 4. Okay, so I went to the left, 2. Now I need to go minus 1, so I'm going to go to the left one more time, right? So starting at minus 2, I'm going to go over one more time. It's going to end up being minus 3, right? So here's your minus 4. Minus 1, we can label everything so we can see it here. But now I'm going to do a positive 1. So I'm going to do that down below here since I ended right here. I'm going to do it I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to move to the right 1. So that's my positive 1. So where did I end up? Well, I ended up with negative 2 which is what I got right here. So that seems right. You can also visualize it like this. You can put positive in the red. So I got one, two, and I've got three positive right here, right? And then you can put negative in the blue. I've got one, two, three, four, five, right? That's five right there. Then you just cancel out. You see how those positive three cancel out those negative three, and I'm left with two negatives left. So, either way you look at it, our answer is negative 2, and it's not there. 